Today we're protesting firstly the fact of these outrageous prosecutions against Witness K and Bernard Cleary. These hearings are political. The Australian spying on East Timor is now common knowledge worldwide. Trying to cover up is re ridiculous and pointless. The spying was a disgraceful episode in Australia's history, perpetrated by the Howard Downer government and successive coalition governments have continued to defend the indefensible. But we have a number of speakers here today who can tell you much more about these matters and the grave danger they pose to our democracy. Mr. Patrick. Thank, thank you uh, for, for the uh, kind introduction. Thank you to my parliamentary colleagues who have joined me here today. Today, uh, I'm going to open up the proceedings with uh, the topic of betrayal. Uh, back in 1942, the, the Timorese stood beside our servicemen and helped them in World War II. At the end of World War II, we let, uh, the, let things drop back to a situation where they were a colonial backwater uh, controlled by Portugal. Uh, in, in the 1970s, uh, Whitlam gave a nod and a wink to, uh, uh, to Suharto to invade, uh, to invade uh, Timor, saying that that was okay. We watched Fraser then see the, the per persecution that was taking place, turning a blind eye to that. We've seen Hawke and Keating doing deals with Indonesia in respect of uh, uh, boundaries over oil and gas. Then we saw Gareth Evans chinking a champagne glass as he flew over the, the Timor Sea. Uh, again, a betrayal on East Timor. Bernard Kaleri and Witness K called out something that was very wrong. In good faith negotiations with the poorest and newest country in the world, Australia spied on the negotiation team to try and get advantage in respect of oil and gas. And that is just abhorrent. It's not the conduct that Australians uh, would see as acceptable. It was called out. Uh, it went to The Hague. Australia lost in The Hague, had to renegotiate the treaty. And now what are we doing? We're prosecuting the whistleblowers. Another betrayal, a, de de a betrayal of all whistleblowers. And uh, something that's very harmful to you know, people like Bernard Cleary, upstanding a uh, gentleman, former Attorney General of the ACT, uh, man of great moral fibre. Uh, Witness K, of course, we don't know a lot about um, because he uh, is, uh, we can't properly mention the name of any ASIS agents. Uh, this has to change. Today in the Senate, I have a motion for debate uh, on, on uh, Bernard Cleary and Witness K in the prosecution, calling on the government to recognise that this prosecution is not in the public interest. All it will do is estrange Australia from East Timor. I went to East Timor uh, a, a couple of years ago as a part of a parliamentary delegation. There's no question that Bernard Kaleri and Witness K are viewed as heroes. I met with the, with the President's Chief of, Sta Chief of Staff who communicated that idea to me. Uh, th this is just uh, very disturbing. We're going to see a situation where uh, East Timor relies on others uh, and uh, accepts the support of others, and that is not in our national interest. I'm also calling on the Attorney General to use Section 71 uh, of, of the um, uh, uh, Judiciary Act to cease this prosecution. Again, it is not in the public interest, and it has to stop. Thanks very much, Senator Patrick. He's been a great stalwart in support of Bernard Cleary and Witness K for a long time, for the years that they've been persecuted. It's been about three years and there have been more than 50 hearings for the two of them, Bernard Cleary and Witness K, and this is just dragging out too long. The Attorney General certainly should use her powers to drop these prosecutions. And now we'll, I'd like to introduce Andrew Wilkie whom you will all know, member for Clark in Tasmania. He first came to public notice around the Iraq war when he disclosed to the public the lies about the weapons of mass destruction. 
So, so I'm very happy to introduce Andrew Wilkie. You know, this madness can be ended today. With the stroke of a pen, the Attorney General Michaelia Cash can end this. Just as Christian Porter, with the stroke of a pen, could have ended this. It beggars belief that they are going ahead with it. It doesn't make any sense. These people must be blinded by their hatred, a determination to get even, a determination to send a very strong signal to other intelligence and security service insiders, toe the line, do what you're told, just follow orders, as, as discredited as that whole line is in this day and age. It can be ended today. This government just doesn't get it. They also don't get the politics of this. You go out on the street and you ask 100 people, do you know about Kay and Caleri? And what do you think about them? The vast majority who know anything about the issue know they are heroes, absolute heroes. We should be celebrating them and giving them medals, not trying to put them in jail. The Queen's Birthday uh, Awards last weekend, people like Peter Credlin got a gong. Why didn't Witness K and Bernard Caleri get a gong? Whistleblowers, people who, tr who speak truth to power, are an essential part of our democracy even more so when media freedom and other freedoms are constantly other, under attack. More and more do we rely on our whistleblowers to tell us what we need to know. We wouldn't know that ASIS bugged the parliament building in East Timor. We wouldn't know that without Witness K and Bernard Clary. And as my friend Rex said, it's clearly in the public interest that we know of these operations. But you know, what worries me even more than what's happening with Bernard Caleri and Witness K is that they're not the problem in isolation. They're a symptom of a bigger problem, that we live in an increasingly authoritarian state, which I have characterised before as a pre-police state, where there is excessive security legislation. Almost 100 pieces of federal legislation to do with security have passed this parliament since 9-11. And the numbers measured in the hundreds when you include the legislation that's been passed at the state level. We still don't have effective whistleblower protections. We still have an unsatisfactory Public Interest Disclosure Act. There are no protections for Witness K. No protections at all because of the limited scope of the Federal Public Interest Disclosure Act. We still don't have a federal anti-corruption body where we can take our concerns. We have diminishing media freedom. We have politicised security agencies. And you know what worse than all of that? Is we have a nasty, secretive, authoritarian government that thinks it's okay to go after people like Witness K, think it's okay to go after Pernod Caleri, to dismiss the concerns of millions of Australians, to shut dissent down so they can do whatever they want and no one speaks up. Those two gentlemen are heroes. They will always have my full support and I beg you to keep up the fight because this is a political fix that's going on and it needs a political solution by persuading the government to stop the nonsense.